Hey, Tell Critical Saints here, I'm Matt. And I'm Jonah. And today we have the blue reveals from set 12. Uh, the yellow video, the yellows will be done in a separate video because it's too much in one video. Yeah, we realise this. Again. Um, so, we'll start <laughs> off with the blues, like I said. So, And we've got Pycon as the first card. So, they, we finally have Pycon as a leader. Woo! Taken. We have Pycon as a card. Well, <laughs> you, well, yeah, Pycon as a card still. But yes, he, he is a leader as well as a card. Um, but mm. anyway, so let's have a look at Pycon then. So, he is auto. Uh, when his card attacks, you look up to two cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one mono blue card from among them to your hand, and then place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. Then you um, choose up to one of your Pycon cards with an ancient cost of three or less and return it to your hand. Right, mm. so you could literally, if you wanted to, use this as a blue leader just for its first effect of just gaining a mono blue card and then stacking the next card. Yeah. If you don't want to use it as the actual deck. So, as. For his first effect, as a standalone blue leader, you could just do it if you really like. There's, there's no harm. It's, it is still that good to do. Because mm. it's because of the fact that it says mono blue card, it doesn't specify battle card, extra card, anything, and that's what makes it insanely good for that. Um, it's awakening. It's just your standard one one, and then we flip it over. Um, so, auto on this side when he attacks, you do pretty much the same thing. Um, is there anything different? No, there's there's nothing different, is there? No, nothing no, right. different. Towards the end. Uh, duh, duh, duh. what? Uh, duh, duh, duh. so add up to one mono blue, then place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. Choose up to one Pycon with energy cost of three or less, and up to one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of three or less. Oh right, it's one. It's both. Okay. So you target yeah. one of yours and one of your opponents, but of course you have to target a Pycon. And then activate main once per turn, look at three cards on top of your deck and put them back in any order. So, again, you could literally just use this as a blue leader without the actual deck. Yeah. Just because of that. Um, which is really good. So, on to our next card. Yep. Yeah. So we have Janemba, the third leader for Janemba. Uh, um, yes. Yeah. So it's auto is add one card from your life to your hand. When this card attacks, you choose up to one blue evil incarnate or demon card, and then it costs two less in your hand and play it. So that's pretty good. And then you draw two on, when you're on four or less. And then we've got uh, Genevan Demonic Destin Dynasty. Mm -hmm. So when it attacks, it draws, and then active main once per turn, you can pay a blue, uh, place cards from your life into your drop, play up to one blue evil incarnate card with an energy cost of two from your energy. Hmm. Kind of wish it went to hand instead of drop, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, but you get a card from your energy, so it's like it lets you set up to do other things in your turn. Yeah, but you cripple your energy. So it's... Ramp. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it will be one of those decks you ramp in for that reason. Uh whatever. Uh <laughs> just, yeah. Um so our first SR, uh and it's a unison. So it's freezer and cell, a match made in hell. Uh so it's specified two unison. Uh it's got rejuvenate. Um so if you can't know what Juvenate does, it's once per turn, you remove four markers from this card, place one card under this, well, yeah, place one card under this card in, in your drop area, and pay the skill cost. Place the top card of your deck in your life. So there you go, that's, you just pay four and get rid of a card and, yeah, get a life. Um, yeah, and it does go face down. Yes. Right. Yeah, because it's just it's it's specified just otherwise. Top, it's just a top card of your deck straight into your life. I don't know whether you get to look at it as it's going there, then, because it's just from the top straight into your life. Um, um, I don't think so. 
Because then you would know what's in take, your life to and take, to just take that card. Yeah, so you just take the top card straight into your life. Um, and it's it's going... working if you're playing Plycon, though, because you could just stack and then be like, oh, I'll put this one in. Yes. Yes, Plycon is an exception because you will 100% know. Um, yeah. And then it's got auto once per turn. When a card in your battle area is returned to the owner's hand by a skill, draw a card, then choose one card in your hand and place it on top or bottom of your deck. Well, it's designed for Pycon. Yeah. Um, activate main with a plus one. You choose up to one blue battle card in your hand for energy cost of one and play it. Um, well, obviously <laughs> you could just use this in any, as any, a generic blue unison, but... It basically yeah. is Pycon, isn't it? Because of the stacking. Yeah, it works best with him. Cool. On to our next one. Yep. Yeah. So we have Margin Boo Dimensional Intervention. Uh, it's a two cost, well, two specified cost for 15k. Um, it's got a plus zero active main. You play up to one skillless, blue skillless bout card from your drop over with an edge cost less than or equal to your current energy and then minus two active main choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards ignoring barrier and return it to the owner's hand well it has no way to gain markers so yeah well if you tap it in four is what you got and you'd have to place other ones underneath just to gain yeah hmm yeah, still, it's minus two can be very, very useful. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so on to our next one, we have Sun Goku Heavy Hitter. Uh, it says one cost with 10k power. It has barrier, and it has a permanent of this card can't be played from any area except by skills. Okay. Hmm. Um, well, it does say from any area, which is good because at least you can charge it because. If it was like, this card can't be played uh, in any area, as opposed yeah. to from any area. Um, so, just because of those two different words, <laughs> it's like, oh, by the way, you can't do anything with this card unless you play it by your skills. Oh, great, thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, activate main. If you lead a card, it's a blue Pycon card, and you discard this card. Um, you look at up to three cards from the top of your deck, add up to one mono blue Saiyan or West Galaxy Warrior card with an entry cost of five or less among them to your hand and then place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. Then place this card on top of your deck from your drop area. You can't activate this skill uh, again in the same turn. Hmm. It's because the whole deck is like. Uh, it's got other cards that's like mill the top whatever of your deck if you mill a Goku or Vegeta you do A, B, C effect or uh -oh. A effect or this auto yeah, triggers and that makes more sense now because if it was just like oh put Goku back to rearrange the top cards again it's like well what's the point <laughs> nah it's because the deck does mill so okay that's good um so yeah, next we've got Sun Goku Fusion Synergy. So it's one cost of 5k. And it's auto as you add one card from your life to your hand. When this card attacks, he gains 10k in crit for the turn. So Blue's got their 10k crit now. Yeah. Nice. Um, so on to our next one. We've got Great Saiyan Man, uh, Punisher of Evil. So free cost, a hard free Blue. Um, 15k power, deflect, barrier, blocker, revenge. My god, does he want any more keywords? Um, auto once per turn, win this card, KO's an opponent's battle card, switch this card, and up to one of your mono blue energy to active mode. That is pretty good. Yeah. Because he's got revenge, so... And he's a blocker, yeah. and he's barrier, and he's deflect. Yeah. So you're guaranteed to get his effects off. Yeah. On to our next one. Um, <clears throat> yep, yeah, so we got 
Sun Guten battling the forces of evil. It's a two cost for 15k, and it's the generic super combo of if you're on four less, you combo and draw. Yeah, and this one's got your straight up 10k without yeah. being a four less. I think the old 10 to now, don't they? Just to There's make a, them more usable. Yeah, the only exception is those ones that put to the bottom to draw to. Yeah. Um. Okay. So our next one is Vegeta Sentinel from Hell. Uh, so one cost 10k. He has blocker and the same permanent as the Goku that we saw earlier. Um, pretty sure he has a, a similar activate main as well. Because if you lead a card is a blue Pycon card and you discard this card, you look at three cards on the top of your deck, add up to one Bonnie Blue Saiyan or West Galaxy Warrior, uh, with energy cost of five or less, into your hand, place the remaining cards on the top of your deck in any order. Uh, and then you place this card on top of your deck. Yeah, it's literally exactly the same. Yeah. Except he's it's a blocker. Except he's got blocker. Yeah. Alright. It's pretty useful. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we've now got Vegeta Fusion Synergy. Say so one cost of 5k. And when you play it, you draw a card. God, we haven't seen them in ages. No, but what makes this... Uh, exceptionally powerful is the fact that it's a Vegeta. Yeah. As it's more usable because of it being a Saiyan um, as opposed to the set one Margin Boo. Yeah. Well, it, it's more usable in the fact that there's a lot of things that would require having a Vegeta for like fusion of evolution, whereas like the Margin Boo was just kind it, of there. Yeah. So this you can is do much of it. so much better, um, and like this is a, it's another good card for Fujito. Yeah, exactly. All right, on to our next one. Oh, it's, this you? is me, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we got Trunks battling the forces of evil. Uh, specified two fifteen k power, but this is a super combo. Now we have another brand new super combo. Because also, mm -hmm. if your leader card is blue and you have a blue unison card in play, when this card is used in a combo, you get to draw a card. Then, at the end of the battle, you choose up to one of your blue unison cards with Rejuvenate in its skill text and place this card underneath it. From your drop area, but you're just going to literally just go, yeah, I finished combo win. No. It's just in case your opponent can send it to the warp, I guess. Yeah. Because <clears throat> so, they might target it and be like, oh yeah, you can't have it underneath, but. Or your parent is Chances are it inside. will. I use Jocko or the Kai to bounce it back to your hand. <laughs> yeah, that as well. <laughs> well. I haven't seen those in ages. Nah, the, the, it depends on the, <clears throat> uh, the meta at the time. Mm hmm. But like, that is a good super combo just to help with rejuvenation. Yes, if you're focusing on it, yeah. Yeah. Alright, on to our next one. Yep, so we got Gogeta Godspeed Demolisher. Uh, it's one of our SRs for the set. It's a co like 8 cost for being blue with 30k power. Um, you've got Double Strike and Dual Attack. It's pretty nasty. Um, EX evolved by paying two blue onto a blue Gogeta with an edge cost of five. And it's got two autos. So the first being, once per turn, if your leader is mono blue, when this card is played or your opponent activates a battle card skill, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards with turn to the owner's hands. Okay. And then the secondary auto is, if your leader is mono blue and you have six or fewer cards in your hand, at the end of your opponent's turn, they choose three cards in their hand and place the rest at the bottom of their deck in any order. Oof. Why does Goji to keep doing this to us? What? Being good? Well, it, it just keeps like going, you can only have three cards. <laughs> uh, so we're going, yeah. Wait, wait. I feel like this one might be easier to well, this one is definitely easier to do. Yeah, because you can just do the EX Evolve. 
And you gotta have six or fewer cards in your hand, but that's like meh. That's not difficult if you and play it at the right it, well, time. It's also at the end of your opponent's turn as well, so you gotta make sure you combo down to six if you want the effect to trigger. <clears throat> yeah. But it is worth it. But it also doesn't um, put your opponent down to three cards. It If they got a huge hand, they're just losing three cards. No, they, they choose three cards and then lose the rest of their hand. Oh, oh god, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, eel. So at the start of your turn, they go down to three cards and you're just like, cool, I'm beginning my turn with a double strike and dual attacker. <laughs> Plus, like, there's still the, um... There's, just there's the of, old... EX Evolve yeah. 2. Yeah, which you can use the, um... Ujita from the starter deck to do, couldn't you? Because that was a 5 card. You could do that one, yeah. Uh, or you can just use the one that's in the set. Yeah. If you wanted to. <clears throat> which is actually our next card. Hmm. Um, so we got Gojita, the Demon Destroyer... Uh, so it's 5 cost, 2 being blue, 25k power, unique barrier, dual attack, activate main, you pay 3 blue, if your leader card is a blue Pycon card, and you place 1 blue Sun Goku and blue Vegeta with an energy cost of 1 from your deck in the drop area, and shuffle your deck, you can play this card from your hand. Um, that is nuts. Because, yeah, because you don't you... need them in your hand, it's like, yeah, I'll just do these two for the deck which you put you can put in your deck because you're just like oh look I used the one cost to add something else to my hand like Gogeta doing it from the deck is so so powerful um, yeah. activate main was between burst one pay a blue if your leader card is blue Pycon card and you have four more energy if uh, if the card placed in your energy in your sorry in your drop area with this skill is a blue Gogeta card energy cost of eight, play it on top of this card. <laughs> what? Oh, oh look! Gee. I use my leader to put put Gogeta on top of my deck. Oh. However, however, can I put a Gogeta on top of my deck whilst I stack it? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I, um, uh, this is so, Turbo Gogeta. So, turn four, basically, you do this. Because you do the yeah. pain of three to do it for the deck, and then it's like, well, Pycon's effect. If I if I see a Gogeta, it's like, yeah, you got to use this effect to fuse from the deck. Um, I mean, you don't have to do it from the deck, I'm pretty sure. You can just do it from your... From your deck, I know it is from the deck only. Yeah. Okay. So then you have Wait. to hope you can see the Gogeta after Pycon's effect. Yeah. Because the other way of doing it is the Goku and Vegeta, but they put themselves on top of the deck afterwards. Hmm. So the cards you rearrange. Are just going to end up with something on top that you may not want on top. In well, in this situation, anyway. Um, so it it's it does require the setup, but depending, it can be pulled off easily and not easily. It's it's one of those I feel. But well, that's, I feel like if it does happen, the, bleh. Yeah, I feel like the best approach would be like. Say keeping one Goku or Vegeta in your hand that can do the rearrange. So then you'd fuse from the deck, and then if through Pycon you don't see. Well, no, what you could do is then is like you throw the Goku and or Vegeta, look at top five. If you see the eight cost, you put that as like your second card, and then Pycon can just switch it round. True. So you do have to like set up for it, but then you just you try and thin out so that you're likely to hit a Gogeta in the top five. Because then once yeah. you see it in that top five, you can p 
replace it wherever, take something else out. There's and also another thing with this is the fact that it, like, unlike the other Gogeta, this one doesn't have deflect. Yeah. And it also is at the opponent's turn. So the opponent has a counterplay response and their turn to get rid of it. Mm. So it's not as bad in that sense, but it's still evil. Well, yeah, I feel like they had to turn it down because the last one was just overused. Yeah. So. Alright, on okay. to our next one. Yep, so we've got Veku making excuses. It's a free cost with. This is really awkward. It's got like 1001 power. Yeah. Uh, it's a unique blocker, and its permanent is that it can't be KO'd in battle. Like, why that power? Because Vaku. Um, so, active main, burst free. If you lead the card, is a Pycon card. If you place at least one blue Son Goku and one blue Vegeta in your drop area with this skill, play this card from your hand. If you didn't play this card, discard it. So there you go, there's your burst in. Mm. So that's how you're helping your effects trigger. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> there we go, right. Thought I clicked page three, but apparently not. <clears throat> mm. All right, so this is pretty much the rest of them now, isn't it? So yeah. our next SR is Go Tanks battling the forces of evil. So it's a four cost to being blue, twenty k power. It has deflect, double strike, and barrier. Why? Um, <laughs> auto was return. If your opponent activates a counter skill during a battle with this card, choose all your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier. Return them to the owner's hand, and then switch up to two of your mono blue energy to active mode. Mm. Such fun. Uh, <laughs> the fact that it has double strike as well, so it's like... It, it kind of forced your opponent to activate the counter unless they want to take two damage. Well, you're forcing your opponent to combo against it, really. Well, yeah, they either out-combo it, or they play the counter and then lose their board. Yeah. It's... it's Ew. It is really, like... It's dumb, but good at the same time. Like, it's... I, I really feel like it, sh it shouldn't have deflect and barrier. It should have one or the other. Yeah, like, it shouldn't have barrier, I don't think. I know there's plenty of things that can ignore barrier, but generally ignoring barrier is three or less, isn't it? Usually. A lot, yeah, a lot of the time it's three or less. There's a few exceptions that are four or less, but... But they tend to cost, like, four energy themselves. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Why is that card so good? <laughs> like, definitely SR worthy, but ew. Yeah. So, on okay. to our next one. Yep, so we have Pycon stalling for time. So, free cost with 10k power. Um, so, it's got blocker and two auto effects. First being, if you leave it as a blue Pycon card, and you don't have a Gogeta in play, when one of your cards is returned to your hand from your battle array, play this card from your hand, and you can't play other copies for the turn. So, because it's a free cost Pycon, obviously it triggers the leader skill. It's also a hard Plus free it. blue, which is like, uh, which is fine, because obviously it's going to use a mono blue deck, but... Yeah, but it's also a case of like, you could bounce another Pycon and then play this one out. Yes. So, um, its secondary auto is if you have three or more energy, when this card is removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill or KO'd, activate this skill. At the start of your next main phase, you may take pay two blue. If you do, 
choose one blue Gurdjieff card in your hand from the end cost of five or less and play it. Like five, you play it. But, eh. Yeah, just play the Gogeta. And it's at three energy. Yeah. The the issue is it's like um without awakening and using sensor beam, the likelihood is you're not gonna have that two blue energy on that same turn. So well. it's a following turn kind of thing. So, like, if it's KO'd during your opponent's skill, you then get to do it at the start of your next main phase, but you have to do, like, once you charge, you have to decide if you're doing that or not. Hmm, true. Like, oh, yeah, if you start, it's start the next main phase, isn't it? Yeah, so you, yeah. you'll you have the energy so you, untapped. Yeah, you can go straight in, like, you can charge to three and then pay the two to do it, but, like, the one thing is you'd be down two energy at the start of your turn, and you have to do it there and then. Although I don't know how you'd have this out on turn two, because it's cost story, so it's a turn four play. Mm. <clears throat> but getting the Gogeta out in that way is very good, um, because it's two engines as opposed to the three energy. But the Gogeta also takes a Goku and Vegeta out of your deck. To yeah, it just gives it another way to come into play. Um, yeah. Dude, does it just say from the uh, uh, go to your change cost five less? Play it. Is it from the hand? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So in you, your do hand. Have to, you do. You do have to have to go to your in hand. It's not like oh, I just pay two, and do it from the deck. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So on to our next one. We got Pycon Flawless Technique. So it's a one cost four K. Auto. If your leader card is a blue Pycon card. When this card is played, you draw one card and add up to one card from your life to your hand, then choose one card in your hand and place it on top of your deck. So self awakening, stacking deck, help you trigger your bursts. Oh look he has burst. Mm. Um <laughs> auto burst one. Uh, it's like I say helps trigger your burst, it's it does because it's like I can stack what I want to burst as opposed to lose out on something. But yeah. Um, but yeah. the fact that this is another one that has burst is obviously very good for the deck. Um, so, if your leader card is blue Pycon card, when this card is removed from your battle area by a skill, if the card you place in your drop area with this skill was a Goku or Vegeta with an energy cost of 1, you can play it with its skills negated for the turn. Hmm. Um, just before we go any further, for those who are either new to the game or can't remember burst, it is just mill. Yeah. Just just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Alright, on to our next one. Yep, so we have Pycon supporting his comrades. So it's a one drop four K power. Uh, again it's got two autos. So it's first being when this card is played, look up to two cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one mono blue card among them to your hand, then place the remaining cards on the top or bottom of your deck in any order, and you can't play another copy for the turn. And then auto burst one. If the leader's blue Pycon, when this card is removed from your battle area by a skill, the card you placed in your drop area with skill was a blue Sun Goku or Vegeta card with an edge cost of one, and when you play it with its skills negated for the turn. So it's literally the same as the one before in a sense well the first auto is different the second one's exactly the same yeah and I mean that one gets to draw your card and and, and self awaken like, yeah that's drawing your card and self awakening is like what <laughs> but anyway um, alright so the Pycon deck is looking Insanely powerful. Mm. I'd say, all right. Insanely might be a bit too much. Might be overselling it a bit too much. But it it is a definitely a good contender. Yeah, it's, it is looking quite consistent, which is nice. Um. All right. So we're on to the Janemba stuff now. So we got Janemba Bewitching Blow. Uh, so it's free cast, hard free blue. 19 k power, it has critical and dual attack. So the critical is standard for Janemba, 
the other stuff is like kind of a a bonus. <laughs> um, auto at the, end, at the end of your turn, you send this card to its to your warp. Um, okay. At fit main, if you have three more energy and you choose one of your blue skillless battle cards, energy cost of two or three, and return it to your hand, you can play this card. Um, and then you can't use the activate main again for the turn. Um, so, hmm. okay, so instead of tapping for it, you can just bring it out by bouncing a skillless. Yeah. Um, so, Case skill, point. Th there you go. There's our two costs 30k blue Janemba skillless. Three costs. Oh, yeah, three cost. Two of being blue. Yeah, that, that's my fault. Uh, it's got 30k. And our uh, next skillless is. The fat gen ember with 20k power and the same, well, same cost apart from his two. Um, yeah. So, on to our next actual skill card. <laughs> okay, so we have gen ember enchanted transformation. So, it's a two drop 10k power. It's got critical and active main. You pay two blue energy, place the card in its own drop. And then you play up to one skill as even incarnate card with an energy cost of three or less from your deck, and then shuffle your deck. So you get one of the um skillless. There's a lot of multi attacking here. I pay yeah. two, swing of a crit. Uh then next well, if you got four energy or you know, I mean you could just play this out for two in the next turn, go crit. Cool, pay two, bring out uh twenty K or thirty K, swing, cool. Uh, bounce it back to hand, play out this crit jewel attack. Hmm. A lot of, yeah, there's a lot of multi attacking. <laughs> um, which is why I, it says that it, like, you can only do it once, because otherwise it'd be too yeah. OP as hell. Um, so our next one is Psyche? Psyche? Yeah. Uh, Demon the Careless. This is me reading, yeah. Uh, so we got yeah. one cost, uh, 1k power, activate main, place this card in its own drop area, choose one, you can either draw a card or activate one soul cleansing machine from your deck and then shuffle your deck. Hmm. So our next card. Yep, so we've got Janemba Rampaging Demon, that's a 6 cost with 25k power, it's Janemba Zeno as well. Um, okay, that's a, so has, that's a very key thing there. Yeah. Uh, it's got crit and dual attack. Uh, EX evolved by paying one blue onto a Janemba Zeno with an energy cost of four. And then it's also is when a card evolves into this card, you draw two, then switch this card to active mode. So you can swing with a Janemba before this. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Hmm. Oh look, here's our Janemba Zeno with four cost. <laughs> Does it I guessed. Only four cost. Oh, what, yeah. was the, what was the cost of that Janemba? Oh, it was two cost, wasn't it? Oh, you can't do that then. <laughs> I was thinking about the uh, the counter attack Janemba from the uh, Cobra Death. Oh. Because that's a Zeno. Eh? Yeah. It cost two. It was like, what if you just forgot to take four more lands for a second? So. No. Uh, nope, okay. Uh, so we've got the future member, Dark Arasai. Uh, so it's a four cost, 20k, 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 Just, just, what the, why? <laughs> <laughs> that was it, wasn't it? Didn't do anything else. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, so we're in the extra cards now, and we start with the five star ball, Parasitic Darkness. Uh, so, like the others, it costs nothing, it gains Dark Dragon Ball in all areas, and you can use it as a 5k combo. It's active main, however. It's 
If you have two or more energy and you choose one of your Mono Blue Genemic cards, an energy cost of three, and place it into this card, you play for one Blue Genemic Zeno, you know, an energy cost of four from the deck or hand on top of the chosen card, and to merge and then shuffle your deck if you look through. Nice. Very nice. So we have the Soul Cleansing Machine. Uh, plus one, and it's a field card. Its alter is, if your leader is an evil incarnate card, when one of your evil incarnate or demon cards is played, place the top card in your deck under this card. And then active main, if there are four more cards under this card, you place it near this drop area. Play up to one blue skill as the evil incarnate will then cut the three or less from your deck or drop, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. I don't like the Geneva Leader itself, but the deck itself looks insanely good. Mm. Um, but yeah, the Geneva Leader is good. Uh, I think it's just that's the best of reference. Like, I'm just not too keen on it. Probably give it a go with the leader, but then I think ultimately it would just be better off with like an, another one of the leader cards, whether it's the well, you can't use the mill. you you can't use oh, no, the can't burst use the one because uh you can't use the the bursting one because of the uh, restriction on the energy cost. Uh, so the only one you could use is the uh, the goody and the you know the go the goody but evil one. The goody but evil one with it milling your opponent. So it's a good. Yeah, that's why I, I said the mill one. Yeah, but there's but, all, there's the mill one for yourself and the mill one for your opponent. Yeah. Um. My God. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave any thoughts you have in the comments below about any of the new decks like how would you build it you know all that good stuff um favorite cards so far uh from, well from the set if you want to or favorite card from the blue stuff uh just anything guys um because you know it's always nice to see those comments and we can have a nice chat yeah um like let us know how you build out the decks and all that kind of stuff so, yep, thank you very much for watching, and look out for the um, coverage video on the yellow cards. Bye-bye. So, Bye. -bye. Bye.